<laughs> so you are going to be rocking the thumb drive update right yes, now. Yes, if you're looking for a way to install Windows 7 using a thumb drive, like because you have a netbook or don't have an optical drive for whatever reason, like for example, doesn't really relate because we're talking about OS 10 versus uh, Windows 7, but my, my, my MacBook Pro does not have a working optical drive. I think mm -hmm. I've probably discussed that on the show a couple times. Um, or if you just want to have a thumb drive to carry around and show off to your friends and say, oh, I've got Windows 7 on here, it's actually <laughs> super easy. Um, first start with a copy of Windows 7 or the ISO if you have it already for like the release candidate. If you have the ISO, you'll need something like iZark to extract the files from the ISO. Um, then take a thumb drive, like this little one right here, make sure it's three gigabytes or more and format added for NTFS. You have to make the partition on the thumb drive active. Uh, the easiest way in Vista would be to open up the command prompt as admin, of course, and type disk part, list disk, and then remember the number of your USB flash drive. So it would be like disk one or disk two, depending. Hmm. Um, now select the USB disk by typing select disk one, or whatever the number is. Um, now that if you have more than one hard drive, the number of the flash drive you have plugged in will be different and reflected in the list disk command. So pay attention. Don't do the wrong one, because then you're going to be totally SOL. It's our favorite little acronym today. <laughs> now you need to get a list of the current partitions on the thumb drive. So type list partition, record that partition number, the one that you get. Uh, now we need to select the current partition to make it active. So type select partition 1, 1 being the partition number of your USB flash drive. Uh, it might be different if you have multiple partitions on your thumb drive. Then type active. Disk part should state that the partition is now active. Once you've done that, just open up the Windows 7 install DVD in Windows Explorer, copy over all the contents of the DVD to the thumb drive. Uh, so hit, just hit Control A to copy everything and drag that puppy over to the root of your thumb drive and voila. This should all work in Windows 7 too if you want to make a thumb drive after you've already installed. Hmm. For XP though, um, you're going to have to install disk part to get that whole thing working. It's not already on there in the command prompt. Um, mm. Otherwise, there's also some software that'll automate the whole entire process for you, which I might recommend if you're a newbie at this kind of thing. One is called Win2 Flash, which will turn your flash drive into a bootable drive from the Windows 7 install disk. It's a free download that you can find at win2flash.com. Finally, don't forget to set your PC to boot from USB drives first, um, and the install process should start like it normally does. Cool. So basically, it? it's like BIOS and boot off the USB drive after you've done the wild creation process. Right, and then it, it all depends on different computers, but you want to you know boot into BIOS and then select the USB drive to install from there. Otherwise, it'll just boot into the hard drive. Exactly. You'll be like, why is it ignoring my USB drive? It's like I worked so hard on this little sucker. Yay. Uh.